Hi, my name is Kelly, and this is my youngest daughter, Caitlin. Welcome to Soul Strength Fit Kids, your spot for fun Bible stories and exercise. It's easy. All you need to do is copy what we do. We'll start seated on our bottoms. Let's bring our hands to our hearts and close our eyes. Dear God, we love you and we're excited to hear this story from your Bible today. Amen. Now today's Bible story is the exciting story of the battle between David and Goliath. This battle took place long ago. Long ago when a king named Saul was king over God's people of Israel. Jump up tall to be like King Saul. Put your robe over your shoulders. Put your crown on your head. Hold your scepter in your hand and march around tall and proud like the king of Israel. Now at this particular time, there was an entire group of people who wanted to fight God's people, the Israelites, in war. Put on your war helmet now, get your war shield, grab your war spear, and now look mean arr, and tough arr, and fierce. We want to fight the Israelites, they shouted. Jump around and pretend to shout. Ah! Now sit down, crisscross applesauce. This was not nice. This was not good. This was serious stuff. And Saul had a big battle on his hands between his Israelites and the Philistines. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies for battle. Jump up and pretend to gather together in a huddle. Huddle, huddle, huddle. And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together, jump to the other side and pretend to be the Israelites gathered together with Saul in a huddle. Huddle, 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 huddle. The Philistines stood on the mountain on one side, jumped to one side, and then the Israelites stood on the other side of the mountain, jumped side to side now. The Philistines and the Israelites, different sides of the mountain. Good, keep it up. Israelites and Philistines. In between was a big valley. Jump down now and let's be the valley. Sit on your bottom and try to get your legs out straight in front of you and lean back, kind of like a V shape. So the Philistines were on one side of the mountain, kind of like your head, and then there was a valley down below, bloop. And then on the other side was the Israelites, kind of like your feet. Let's jump up now and let's cheer on the Israelites. Go Israelites, go Israelites, go! You can do it. You can beat the Philistines. Go, go, go. Come back down to see you now and listen to what happened in this big battle. Goliath, the Philistines leader and champion, stepped out onto the battlefield. Rise up slowly like Goliath. Goliath was huge. He wasn't just huge, he was massive. He was ginormous. He was almost 10 feet tall. Jump as high as you can. Try to touch the ceiling. He's even taller than that. Keep jumping. This enormous Goliath had an enormous bronze helmet on his head. Put your big bronze helmet on your head. And he had bronze armor that covered his whole body from his shins, tap your shins, to his knees, to his chest, to his shoulders. Shins, knees, chest, shoulders. Shins, knees, chest, shoulders. Shins, knees, chest, shoulders. He was covered in bronze armor everywhere. His feet were fitted with the best warrior shoes. Drop down to your bottom, extend your legs out long, and reach for your toes. Pretend to tie your warrior shoes. He was a mean, scary warrior. Make a mean, scary face. In addition to all his armor, Goliath had an enormous spear. Jump back up and let's grab his spear. His spear looked long enough to touch the sky. Try to reach the spear to the sky. Jump, jump, and try to pop a cloud. So Goliath came out onto the battlefield, stepped out onto the battlefield, and in a loud, mighty voice, he called to the Israelites, choose one man to fight against me. If he kills me, the Philistines will be your slaves. But if I kill him, you shall become our slaves. The Israelites trembled in fear. Tremble, 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 tremble. They were afraid and they ran away from Goliath. Pretend to run, run faster now. Run, 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 run. All while this was happening, there was a boy named David. David had a good heart and he loved and trusted God. David was the youngest of eight brothers in his family. How many? Eight. Let's count that out with jumping jacks. Ready? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. David spent his time taking care of his father's sheep in the fields. Come to your hands and your knees, and let's pretend to be a cute white fluffy sheep. Bah! Bah! When he wasn't taking care of his sheep, he was often running food and supplies over to the Israelite army. Get up, and now let's run over to the Israelites with bread and cheese, just like David. Go, go, go! Faster, faster, faster! Go faster now! The soldiers are hungry! For 40 whole entire days, Goliath came and challenged the Israelites to send someone over to fight him. That's a long time. Let's count by tens with side jumps to get to 40. You ready? 10, 20, whoa, 30, 40. Now one of those days that Goliath was challenging the Israelites, David had just arrived with food for the soldiers. Run up like David with the bread and the cheese to camp to give it to the soldiers. Run, run, run. David heard Goliath's loud voice. Stand tall with your hands on your hips like Goliath. Choose one man to fight against me. If he kills me, the Philistines will be your slaves. But if I kill him, you shall become our slaves. Goliath roared at the Israelites, roar now. All the men of Israel trembled in fear once again. Tremble, 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 start to tremble. Then they ran away, start to run away from Goliath. Faster, 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 faster. But David stood there unafraid, stand tall like David, but not too tall because he was only a boy. Who is this Goliath that he should defy the army of our strong and mighty God? Don't be afraid of Goliath. I trust God and I know God will save us. I will fight Goliath. When King Saul heard what David had said, he called for him. Sit down now, crisscross applesauce, and let's be King Saul. Sit up nice and tall, and then let's call for David. Oh, David, wave your hand. David, come over here. David marched right up and over to the king. Jump back up to be David now, and march over, proud and confident, right up to the king. And then David said to Saul, let no one be afraid because of Goliath. I will go and fight this Philistine. And Saul said, jump back down to be Saul, crisscross applesauce. You can't go against this Philistine. You're only a boy and Goliath is a man of war since the time he was a boy. But David said, jump back up to be David. I am the keeper of my father's sheep. Come down to your hands and your knees and let's be one of David's cute, white, fluffy sheep. Bah, bah. King Saul, David said, jump back up to me, David. When I was taking care of my father's sheep, once came a lion. Jump down to be a scary lion. Roar. Or a bear. Jump back up and be a ferocious bear. Growl. When these fierce animals came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went after them. I killed them and I saved the baby lamb from their mouths. I have defeated both the lion, jump back down to be that lion, and the bear, jump back up to be the bear, and Goliath shall be as one of them, seeing that he is tormenting the army of God. God delivered me out of the paw of the lion and the bear, and he will save me from Goliath too. David has such great faith in God. Let's show how much faith he had with a great big jump. Ready? Big jump with big arms. This is how much David trusted God. King Saul was convinced. Jump back down to be the king. Saul said, go and may God be with you. Then King Saul ordered one of his servants to bring the king's very own armor for David to use. Jump up and pretend to be the servant. Hoist the huge suit of armor over one shoulder and then lug it all the way to David and to King Saul. Wow, is this heavy. David tried it on, put one leg into the armor, whoop, and then the other, whoop, put on the breastplate and then the enormous brass helmet. Pick up the huge shield and then get the king's long and heavy sword. David could barely stand, it's so heavy. Come all the way down to one knee. King Saul, David said, I can't wear these. I'm not used to all this armor. Start to take it all off. Drop the sword 
and the shield. Take off the great helmet and set it on the ground. Take off the breastplate and remove the coverings from your legs. Whoosh, whoosh. Then David picked up his own staff, which he used while tending the sheep. And he walked right over to a nearby stream. Walk, 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 walk. He kneeled down, come to your knees, and he chose five smooth stones. Pick it up and put it in your bag. One, good. Two, three, four, five. How many stones did he choose? That's right, five stones. Let's count them out with jumping jacks. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. He pulled out his sling, hold it up in your hand, and he was ready to face Goliath. He walked right up to the battlefield. Walk, walk, walk. Go ahead, walk your legs now real big with the king and all of the Israelites standing behind him. As he got near to Goliath, the size difference was amazing. Goliath was twice as tall as David. Jump up high, high, high now to show how big Goliath is. And then kneel down low to show how young and small David is. Jump up high and get down low. Jump up high and get down low, good. Goliath looked at David and he laughed. Come to standing and put your hands on your belly and have a good laugh <laughs> like Goliath. <laughs> David remained brave. He stood as tall as his little boy body could stand, and he said to Goliath, you come to me with a sword and a spear and all your armor, but I come to you with the Lord God Almighty on my side. The Lord will defeat you today. Goliath started to run toward David. Run now like Goliath, crazy, about to attack. Ah! But just then, David reached in his bag, reached into your bag, and he got a stone. Hold up your stone. And then he put it in his sling. Put it in your sling and pull it way back, a little further now, and then he let it go. Whoosh! Do it again. Pull it back and let it go. Whoosh! One more time. Pull it back and let it go. Whoosh! Now let's be the stone getting thrown into the air by the slingshot. Come down low and then Pow! It went flying through the air. Let's do it again. Pow! He put it in the slingshot and it went flying. Good! And then it made a great big thud. The stone hit its target and got Goliath right in the forehead. The enormous giant Goliath started to wobble. Wobble, wobble. Whoa! He dropped his spear with a crash. Crash! And then he dropped his sword with a crash. Crash! And then the enormous Goliath fell down to the ground with a thud so loud the ground shook. Fall down to the ground and then fall all the way down. Blah! All the Israelites started to cheer and jump. Jump up and cheer now. Really cheer. They are so excited. David's brothers hoisted him up onto their shoulders. Get down low and hoist him up. Get down low and hoist. And the king and all his soldiers did a happy dance. Oh yeah, we beat Goliath. Oh yeah, we beat Goliath. King Saul stepped out onto the battlefield. Step forward like the king. From this day forward, he said to David, you shall be the commander of my army. David bowed to Saul. Get down and bow. I will be so happy to be commander of the army, he said. Come to seated now. The Israelites always remembered God's power after the battle between David and Goliath. With God beside him, David knew he didn't have to be big to be brave. He had God to be his strength. Put your hands to your heart and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for always being with us to make us strong and brave too. Amen. Amen. High five.